All right, guys, we're going to get in the uh, hive today. Check on how everything's going on the frames. We're going to just take a look at each of the frames and see what all is going on with them. See how far they built the comb out. Now this is the end frame, the last frame that's in there, so they're getting close to needing a super put on there. Turn this around. And the queen's normally in the middle area, but not always, but we'll go ahead and look for her. I just want to show you some of the stuff here. All this in here is 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 a bee bread. Uh, that's really all it is is bee bread in that one. And in that one, it's just it's just bee bread and a little bit of honey. Just a little bit of honey in there, if you can see it. I don't know if you'll be able to see it on the camera or not. That's the first frame. That's the farthest frame out. As I showed you guys when I put the frame, the hive together, all this in here is just diatomaceous earth. And if you can see those little bumps, those are the beetles that are in there. Again, I don't use the oil, I use the diatomaceous earth on it. They've got this frame almost completely built out, and it's got uh, brood in it on this side. I don't know what's on y'all side. Let me look at y'all side. Okay, this right here is brood. All oh, this is brood in here. And if you look down in there, that's the larva. And there's probably some eggs in there too. I'm looking for the eggs. Yeah, there's eggs in there. I don't know if y'all can see them, but like where this bee is right here, down in these these combs, there are eggs. I don't know if you'll be able to pick them up on the uh -huh. camera or not. But there's different stages of larvae going on in here. Then on the other side, same thing. I'm trying to get them to scoot out of the way a little bit. <laughs> 
So you can see the the pattern is pretty good. The queen's good. She's keeping a pretty good pattern. You got a couple of gaps in there where they've hatched out. But the ones that are capped, those are the ones that are already larvae and uh, will eventually become the new worker bees. Up here you got some pollen, I mean some uh, honey. And then you got some bee bread up at the top so when they come out they can get fed. But they've almost got this one built all the way down. We'll go to the next one. Come in here and take a look. Give them an idea how many bees are in there. It's done blocking it. I can't see. Guys, this one's almost all brewed. There's that side if you want to see it. And this was just brewed in honey and a little bit of larva. But mainly brewed. This, this After a while they get to where it's just you're cooling down their hive so that's why they get anxious on you. They keep their hive at a certain temperature. And I haven't spotted the queen yet, but I might have overlooked her. Now here, right here is a drone. Now I want you to see that drone. Hold on. Okay, this guy right here is a drone. See the big eyeballs? And he's got a, he's got a longer body than the normal bee. That's how you can spot them with their big eyeballs. They got to have them eyeballs to, to find the queen while they're in flight. So we got a couple of drone uh, spots, like that one's a drone. That one will be a drone right there because it's, it's popped out beyond the rest of them. The rest of this is just your brood, your regular brood, your worker bees. And the key to keeping them calm and to keep them from stinging you is the smoke and also uh, taking your time, going slow. We wear these jackets and these uh, veils and stuff over our face because you don't want to get stung in the eyeball or the mouth or any of that kind of stuff. But again, where you see these popped out ones, these are all going to be drones. Now here's one that's coming out. He's hatching. And there's one down there that's hatching. And then down in there, you got honey, you got some larva. They've come a pretty long way, haven't they? Oh yeah, they've got a real long way, for sure. That's that one. That's awesome. All right, well, let me look right here. Okay, now they just hatched. I thought maybe that was a queen cell. When your hive gets big like this, this is when they start trying to swarm out because they don't got enough room. So we're gonna have to get a super on here eventually. Let's see what this next one has in it. Okay, right here is our queen. 
she's looking for the next spot that she's going to put her egg in. But absolutely beautiful brood patterns, guys. I mean, it's very tightly put together. Obviously, she got some gaps here, and they filled it up with some honey, and uh, it's just basically honey in there. When you go in your hive, guys, just, you know, move slow. Move slow. That's the key. I mean, if you go fast, they think they're under attack. I'm going to go ahead and hit them up with some more smoke. That's the beetle trap. That's the beetle trap, yeah. Here they got this one kind of clogged up. They're starting to seal it off, so I'll just go ahead and open it back up for them. So they can put their beetles in it. And that's just propolis, guys. If I didn't have my veil on, I'd eat it. This is just more brood, more larva, some eggs in there. Now that right there could be the start of a queen cell. We'll have to keep an eye on that. Like I said, if they start making queen cells, we're gonna have to get a super on here pretty quick because they're running out of space. But as you can see on that one, they still got space to build their comb on downward. Tried to pull it up slow so you can see how they hang on one another. That's how they actually build their comb down. They use gravity. That's why you got to keep these hives level. They hang down on each, on each other and then they build the comb on down. And when it's brand new, the comb is always a white color. And as they use it, it starts to get darker and darker and darker and eventually it turns black. But they're not using this one yet. They're just storing honey in it and bee bread in it. So we still got some time before we got to get a super put on this one, but we are getting very, very close to needing that super. Have they stung you yet? No, I ain't, not yet. It's pretty calm. Okay, and then here, this is the original strip. See, this is what I was talking about when I just put a strip in. That's the original strip, and here we got a hive beetle, so we're gonna go kill that hive beetle. But this is this is how it starts, and then they built, they just draw it out from there. And they're just now getting started on this one, so we're actually in good shape. We can go probably another week. Uh, max before we gotta get a super put on this one But I'm gonna go ahead and put this thing back together so they can get relaxed and get the temperature back to what they like Everything's looking good so far ain't nothing we need to do right now
And when you get into your hive, just try to make sure you keep keep the frames the way they were. There's some on there. Oh, they should move out of the way. They usually move. Anyway. See if I can't get a little bit of this propolis out of there. You can take this propolis and eat it, but you can also take it and put it into your uh, swarm traps. Because that'll help attract, attract the bees to your trap. the propolis to seal everything off and it's, it comes from tree sap and it's ant oop about to smash them guys uh, but it's antibacterial and uh, antifungal and all that good stuff so it's actually really healthy for you it's got a lot of benefits they mix enzymes in with the with the sap That's good enough on that. Get this push back together. Oh. What are they doing? They fell off this frame. Oh. Will they go back in? Yeah, they'll work their way back in. They'll go back to the entrance. That's it.